613 right now on your Friday morning. San Diego has established itself as one of the top life science cities in the country. A recent report found that industry has more than 2000 companies in the San Diego area, creating nearly 76,000 jobs and more than $56 billion of economic impact in 2023. My co-anchor Jared Aaron spoke with industry experts who say everything is coming together for another biotech boom. Construction is nearly complete on the first phase of Pacific Center, a 500,000 square foot life sciences campus in Sorrento Valley. About a block away, the Bioterra building looks ready to open, adding another 323,000 square feet. And downtown, the campus at Horton promises to reinvigorate Gaslamp with a million square feet of retail and office space, about a third of which is expected to go towards tech. These are just three of more than a dozen new life science campuses expected to bring 3.2 million square feet of lab space, research facilities and more to San Diego by the end of 2025. We're on a rebound phase is where we're at. Chad Yuri is the executive managing director of JLL. He specializes in life science real estate. We met at Tory View, a modern model for the future of the industry. It's a 10 acre campus with lab space, dining, a fitness center and more. Already major companies like Pfizer and BD Biosciences have moved in. Yuri tells me all this new construction bodes well for the city's economy and its scientific ecosystem. How does that set San Diego up for the next wave of a lab boom, of a life science and biotech boom? Well, that's the cool thing about San Diego. They're probably more poised for growth than a lot of the competing cities across the country. And companies are ready and eager to move into these new buildings. Right now, 46% of that 3.2 million square feet of lab space I mentioned earlier is already leased even before construction is done and venture capital funding, which fuels the life science biotech industry, is pouring into San Diego. Already this year, $3.6 billion have been invested in the region. That's more than any recent year except 2020 and 2021, when the pandemic led to a surge in biotech funding. The money that is on the sidelines is definitely coming back. Daniel Maldonado with Unispace Life Sciences sees the funding catching up to the post-pandemic construction boom. That means companies will be ready to move in as soon as these buildings open. There was a growth. The pandemic created this growth. Now we're coming down a little bit, but we are coming back to the original trend. A trend that could put San Diego on par with America's other major biotech hubs. What do you think it'll look like then, you know, 5, 10, 15 years from now? Oh, much different to what it looked now. Uh, and, and, and certainly San Diego, when you look at San Diego today, it's much different to it was you know, five, five years ago, even longer. It's got the venture capital, as I mentioned. It's got the facilities for growth. UCSD is an economic engine that's hard to replace. We're graduating more STEM degrees out of that university than Berkeley and Stanford combined. So San Diego is pretty well poised for growth coming out of the cycle. Yeah, biotech is so huge here. And, you know, one of the things that's helping San Diego is the diversity of our population. A lot of these companies want to do FDA testing, which require a lot of different ages, ethnicities and backgrounds, all of which they can find here in town. Now, Jared covers several topics, including healthcare impacts, hospital systems and Poway Unified Schools. You can send your story ideas to jared.aarons at 10news.com.